What is the clear sign that someone liked you, but you didn't realize until later? My mom always told me to marry this one girl from high school. I told her about it and she was like oh. Wow that's totally crazy right? Would that ever happen? And I was like no. We are too good of friends. Girl was like so not even a chance? Didn't realize she was crushed until college. She yelled date me after I walked away from her one time. I thought she was joking. True story. One time this girl came over to my house. She sat on my bed and said you're alone in your bedroom with a girl on your bed. And I was like yep. That's weird I juice totally clueless. We were watching TV at her house just us on the couch and some character in the show said something I can't even remember now and she said to me if we ever have sx. That's how I'm going to describe it. I think I just chuckled and said oh really? And that was pretty much it. We hung out a few more times and didn't do anything and eventually she ghosted me and moved to another town. Just respond with prove it next time. Man. Lately I'm just so horny all the time. I wish I were joking. There are 4 reasons why someone would be staring at your face for a prolonged period of time. 1. You look like someone they know. And they're trying to figure it who. 2. You have an interesting feature on your face or are shockingly ugly. 3. You are directly in front of them. And they're zoned out. 5. You are attractive to them. Damn it. Posted this as an answer to another question. I'll copy it here so you can share the misery. Dude here. Roommate had introduced me to a woman who said she wanted to get to know me. On several occasions we're in the backyard. Watching a movie and having a bonfire. She's got her legs across my lap. Her one arm across my chest. And the other behind me. Her head on my shoulder looking at me with the most obvious kiss me eyes anyone could have. My dumb ass decides to ask what? Why are you looking at me like that? And goes back to watching the movie. Now engaged. The kid. Her of course. Not me. To a guy who knew the signs. Girl lived across the hall in my college dorm. She came over in just her new push up bra to see what I thought of it. Mother f king f bro lol there's only one other time I missed a massive hint. Got home from service ran into a girl from high school at the gym and started hanging out catching up and became friends. I was over her place one night and I'm just chilling in her bed her bed mind you and she goes to shower and comes back out in matching bra and panties and slowly walks to her mirror looks at herself then me and gets into bed. I just sat there and started talking to her and being chill and kept drinking our slurpees I picked up and left a little later when she was ready for bed and to get more comfy. This was way back in high school a good 20 years ago. She asked me and my buddy to walk her to her car. And while we were walking. She sidled up to me and grabbed my hand. We walked hand in hand all the way to her car. She said she's got to go home or something. And so naturally I said something like okay. Drive safe. And then amble away like a ref king carrot. My buddy is looking at me dumbfounded. Slack jawed. He chewed me out good. Said something like what is wrong with you? I assured him that friends often hold hands. And it probably didn't mean anything. If she reads this. Sorry for being such a dunce. A different girl. A couple years older than me. Asked me to the prom. And I basically said nah. I don't think I'll ever go to the prom. I was certain she wanted to go as friends. That one I did realize and apologize for. Because a friend of hers confronted me later saying it was humiliating. I was. And remain. Completely oblivious to human interaction sometimes. When she said. Yay. My boobs are big. You can grab them. I wouldn't care. I laughed. W. T. F. Bro you missed the 8 chance to touch big titty. Big titty. I was at a high school dance. I really wanted to dance with my crush and was preparing to ask her. Then a girl from her group of friends came to me and asked me for a dance. I danced with her and then she casually asked me who I had a crush on. We were friends so it wasn't weird. I proxed to tell her. When we finished dancing I asked my crush. 
She said no in front of all her and my friends. I cried in the bathroom. When I composed myself I went and enjoyed the night further. I had noticed the girl I danced with first was crying but I didn't think much of it because I was with my guy friends at the time. Thinking back I realized I crushed her heart. I got a good one. I was in college and I was attracted to this girl with a huge behind. We all went out with a group of friends. She said out loud he don't know how to handle all of this with a smile and look right at me. And my dumb said I sure don't and turned and talked to the other guys. Damn. After work. She needed a ride home. I let her drive my car because she wanted to drive a stick. She drove me to some secluded spot that only could have been described as Makir at point. I had to be somewhere. So I drove her home. Yes. This is all real. I need to have a long hard stick now. Oh. You're lucky. My car indeed has manual transmission. I don't mind. Dot. But then. We all had long planned WoW raids scheduled at one point or another. She asked to bake brownies with me. She sent me bikini pics and a side boob pic showing her new tattoo. She asked to make chocolate covered fruit with me. Called me to go out to eat with her on campus multiple times. I thought she was just being a nice friend. Update. We are actually engaged now. Making a beeline to sit on my lap on multiple nights out. Repeatedly asking for my help with buying stuff on eBay. Inviting me specifically to a party at the end of our first year at uni. Those are just the ones I remember in hindsight. Teenage me was about as attentive as a concrete bollard. All the more annoying since she was just the right sort of quirky and weird. And I'd have been all about her in a heartbeat if I'd realized. There was a lot of touching from her. Just general flirtatious behavior. Had another girl even comment on how cute we were. The icing on the cake was her kissing my forehead. And saying I would not want to kiss you in the wrong place. I was way too young when I started college and was way too clueless around girls due to having a pretty tty high school experience. Cute friend. Do you have a girlfriend? Me. Nah. Cute friend. Are you dating someone? Me. Nope. Not really. Cute friend. Ro. If you asked me out. I would date you. Me. Ha. Huh. Thanks. Okay bye. Fast forward to a few years later. Me. Dot. In college I was in a girl's apartment at 3am and she said fck I'm really horny right now and I shti you not. My response was nice to meet you horny. 7th grade me. Sitting on school computer playing runescape. Because of course I was. Girl I had a crush on sits on my lap. Proceeds to say I need a girlfriend. Because of course I did. A Christian one. While twiddling the cross around her neck. Sorry babe. Elvar Geisen going to slay himself. Ow I'm an alcoholic. She asked me to prom. There was a girl in college who I had a crush on. One night. She described the type of guy who she's attracted to. She basically just described me. But since my self esteem was so low at the time. I was like damn I wish I was like that. A few days later. My friends were discussing it and they were laughing at me for not making a move. She would always find an excuse to sit close to me. I spent a year flirting with my sister's neighbor. Always invited him to come swim with me at the pool. Showed up at his house with stuff I baked for him to try. Played with his hair. Sat next to him. Hugged him hello and goodbye when I wouldn't do that to anyone else. Finally I just asked him out. I asked him if he ever noticed and he had no idea. He said he might have noticed something in the last month but he wasn't sure. Edit. He said yes. It's been 3 months. She used to crash in my bed because her dorm was too far away. I really liked her and didn't want to scare her off by taking advantage of her. Thank god she liked him dumb. In high school. She was gorgeous. She ended up wearing my leather jacket and said I was mysterious. And hot. I just thought she was being nice. Sigh. I was way too shy to do anything about it. 
he borrowed one of my notebooks. And when he returned it. It was full of silly drawings. Apparently I didn't pay much attention to them. And responded by drawing a picture of him getting a drumstick shoved up his butt. Maybe a full decade later I noticed that one of his drawings was stick person him kissing stick person me. Turns out we'd both had crushes on each other. We would have made. Like. The best couple but our self esteem was too low to think the other person liked us back. I wish I could provide a cute ending. But now. Nah. We married other people and didn't find out until a few years afterwards. Not that it's a bad thing at all. But I am sad for my high school self. Close bracket. TLDR. He drew a picture of him kissing me in my notebook. My dumbass responded with a drawing of him getting a drumstick shoved up his butt. Comma responded with a drawing of him getting a drumstick shoved up his butt. This is next level rejection. Even if unintentional. She. Along with my parents. Helped me move into a new apartment. She was my then girlfriend's old roommate and I thought of her as a friend. As soon as my parents were out the door. She gave me a big grin. Grabbed my hand. And started pulling me toward the bedroom. I thought it was her just making a joke. What a putz I was. A girl I had a crush on wanted me to hide in a closet with her in her bedroom to scare her friend. Waited in there for like 10 minutes and her friend never came into her house. I think she wanted me to make a move. They wanted to buy chewing gum and asked what flavor to get. I asked why. They told me I'd be tasting it later. Damn that is smooth af though. I'm saving that one. Reading these comments has reminded me that nobody has ever liked me in that manner. My now husband asked if I wanted to hang out and I just thought he was being friendly. His best friend later asked me why I shot him down and I was like. I am a working single mom and he's a sweetheart but I don't have time for a new friend. I love talking to you guys when you come in. Full stop. He responds with oh. I thought you were into him. My bad. That's when it dawned on my stupid ass he wanted to hang out to get to know me better in a romantic sense. His friend saw the realization dawn on me and lost his shti laughing and gave me the phone number and 16 years later we are still hanging out. She cornered me at a house party 10 years later and called me an idiot for not being able to recognize that everyone she's dated since middle school happened to be a close friend of mine during the time period. I still think that's a pretty indirect course to chart. She could have just asked me out and I would have said yes. Honestly. That sounds like a huge red flag. Ladies. This entire thread sums up one very important thing about men. Be extremely fking clear. We don't pick up on clues or hints. We're either too insecure to believe you would be into us or too fking stupid to pick up on your subtleness. Mine own wife for example. She says she was giving out hints and clues for months that she though were so obvious. Guess who didn't F King notice? Me. It took her to just say hey. I like you. Want to take me out to dinner sometime for me to understand. Don't play stupid games. Just say something. A few years ago I read a thread somewhat this. Except someone asked teachers how they knew when a student liked another one. Many of the responses were how teachers used to sit kids right next to each other in class if one of them liked the other. That was when it hit me. In 7th grade during one of the quarters there was a kid who was put next to me in each class. Not alphabetical, our last names aren't close at all. We had together which was 3 of them. I wondered if the teachers had something against the two of us because we couldn't stand each other. Turns out that might have not been the case for him. Once a girl took me to my favorite tea place. Bought it for me. Then we went thrifting and she bought me buttons in a jar. And I still didn't get it lol. And she like sat very close to me and even wrapped her arm around my shoulders but. Nope. Holy shti she bought you the whole place? I once had a woman flat out tell me she would swallow every drop. As long as I don't get any in her hair. 20 year old me thought that was an odd bit of personal trivia and let it slide right by. While talking in a group. They pay the most attention to you and try to ask for small favors. 
The only reason I turned my computer on today was to see if you'd emailed me. In my defense. I had asked her out a few times already. But she had told me she was busy each time. I took what I thought was the hint but I later found out she had legitimately been busy each time. Unfortunately. By then she had already started dating the guy she's now married to. Freshman in college and I was a moron. I heard you like Monty Python. Want to watch it in my room? Thought it was a totally common thing to hear in an American school. Cut to. Three episodes in. She's sitting on my lap. Arm around me. And asking me to stroke her legs. The most pressing thought in my mind was she wanted to watch the show why isn't she paying attention? Full stop. I don't get it until she asks me if I want to kiss her. I turn her down because I promised my long distance friend I would take her on a date later. Now it's too late. She is married and I am single. It is what it is. She wrote I want you in my pants in my yearbook but I just thought she was joking. Or was just something girls did. She was one of those friends you don't think about that way until one day you do. Man. I couldn't have been more oblivious. Went to a girl's house to drop her off after class. Stayed to hang out. Girl told me she was apparently told in the past that she gave really good blowjobs. And later in the day invited me to her room to hang out. I had recently ended a relationship with another girl that I was pretty hung up on at the time but good lord was I dense. Had a girl back in high school who kept smacking my ass. I though it was just cause we both made our respective basketball teams. I haven't had sx in ages. 12 year old me was very confused as to why the also 12 year old niece of my neighbor. One Nancy. Wanted to play fairy tale where the princess to kiss the princess to wake her up and. Oh. Hey. You be the prince and I'll be the princess. 12 year old was old enough to think. Hey. Kissing girls gives me a boner. And also old enough that fairy tale roleplay was a little childish. But for whatever reason I was wildly disconnected by what this all meant so I was like prince and princesses. Girl. I got a game boy. Smell ya later. Miss Grimm. Sorry. Nancy. I know you were hot to trot but it's probably for the best anyway. My sister's hot best friend. 23 female. On my 18th birthday. Asked if I wanted to go back to the hotel with her. I thought yeah sure okay. Full stop. Got to the hotel. She mentioned how horny she is. I made a small comment. Got up. Left and went back to clubbing. I am so dumb. I wish this was a fake story. Picture this. I'm a shy girl in high school. There's this cute guy that always want to walk me home talk to me after school. I find it weird. Especially because I live super close to the school. It's not a long walk and it's not on his way. Because I'm shy and awkward and I don't understand why he wants to talk to me. I always try to leave school super fast so he doesn't find me. Fast forward 3 years later sitting in an uni class. I realize that I was a socially awkward idiot. Oh you literally ran from the poor bugger. College. Told my beautiful dorm mate that I got an awesome valentines gift from a secret admirer. He said. She must really like you to get you that bottle of bourbon you've been wanting for months. Hated myself over that one for years. I was at the pool with some friends and we were sitting at the snack area and she sat on my lap. I pushed her off cause there were a lot of people around and that was embarrassing. That was 3 years ago. Missed out on a threesome. Went clubbing with two girls. We plowed each other with drinks and grinding all night. When the time came to leave they suggested they crash at my apartment because no trains or taxis. So I ended up piggybacking them for fun on the way to my place. We joked that I could literally feel their bags because they were in skirts. Got home and totally missed out to signs to make a move. Went to bed and left them to their own devices. Only realized about 2 years later when one of them brought it up. Dumbest day of my life. <laughs>